Welcome to this tutorial on navigating the WisePops pop-up campaign builder. Today, we'll walk you through the process of creating a pop-up campaign, choosing a format, setting display rules, scheduling, and more. From WisePops dashboard, navigate to the pop-up tab. Start by clicking on the Create Campaign button. Here, you have two options. You can use the Campaign Assistant, which provides you with recommended strategies and pre-designed templates based on your goal, and you can also explore our inspiration gallery for more designs and ideas. The second option is to create a custom campaign and start with a basic layout. Whether you use the campaign assistant or custom campaign, you'll be able to choose a format for your campaign. WisePops provides three main formats to choose from. Pop-ups. This is the most common format. It creates a window that appears in the foreground of your web page. You can use it for various purposes, such as collecting email addresses, promoting a special offer, or making an important announcement. Bars. This format adds a thin bar at the top or bottom of your web page. It's less intrusive than a pop-up and is often used for announcements, like shipping delays or special promotions. Embeds. This format allows you to embed or inject a WisePops campaign within the content of your page directly. It's perfect for integrating sign-up forms, surveys, call to actions, or testing personalization elements on your website. Choose the one that best suits your campaign objectives. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll choose the pop-up format. In the Design tab, you'll find the Styling tab where you can adjust sizing options and other features. These include overlay usage, background images, multi-column layout, and activating right-to-left reading. At the top, you'll find menus with more customization options like color changes, font adjustments, and spacing. In the left panel, you'll find more design options like positioning, closing options, and a CSS tab to add custom CSS for more advanced design requirements. WisePops also enables you to craft engaging multi-step campaigns. Just click on the three dots next to any steps and add a step before or after. For instance, you can start with a pop-up showcasing an offer or incentive. If your visitors accept it, you can present another pop-up, requesting their contact details to unlock the offer. Finally, upon sign-up, you can display a third pop-up conveying a confirmation message along with the discount code. Now let's navigate to the Blocks tab. Here you have the freedom to customize your pop-up with various elements such as text, images, videos, buttons, forms, and countdown timers. Each block can be personalized with properties like alignment, padding, and background color. If you're using a form, click on it to access its settings. From there, you can easily sync it with your CRM or email marketing solution. Add additional fields and make other necessary adjustments. And then to the tab feature. This unique feature lets you add a retractable tab to your pop-up. Thanks to this feature, you can provide users with the option to reopen the pop-up once it has been closed. You can also set the tab to appear before the pop-up, serving as an enticing teaser. Other display settings include making the tab persistent throughout the user's session, or until the visitor converts, and the option for it to disappear when the visitor navigates to a different page. The tab can be customized according to personal preference. There are options such as color, font size, and background image that can be changed. If you opt for a persistent tab, we recommend adding a close button for an enhanced user experience. In the Display Rules tab, you'll be able to set up triggers, page targeting, define your audience, set frequency, and even advanced targeting. This tab lets you define when and where your pop-up should appear. You can set triggers like time delay, scroll depth, or exit intent, page targeting like specific URLs or URL patterns, define your audience like new versus returning visitors, set frequency like once per visit or once per user, and even set advanced targeting rules like based on custom properties that you pass on to WisePops, cookies, or JavaScript variables. For Klaviyo users, there's an option to target based on Klaviyo segments. Shopify users will find targeting conditions available right out of the box like cart value, visitor profile, tags, and more. Moving on to the Goals tab, here you can assign a goal to your campaign. Select a previously created goal or create a new one these can include completed orders, subscriptions, donations, or any other objectives that matter to you. In the Schedule tab, you can dictate when your campaign will run. This comes in handy if you want your campaign to start and end at precise times. The JS Callbacks tab allows for more advanced functionalities by defining JavaScript callbacks. These are functions that will be called when certain events happen, like when a pop-up is opened, or when a form in the pop-up is submitted. 
Once your campaign design is complete, hit Done Editing. This will lead you to the campaign overview for one final review before publishing. You now have two options, Save and Exit, which allows you to come back and finish your campaign later, or Publish, which will activate your campaign instantly. Remember, for the campaign to show up on your site, you need to have installed the WisePop setup code snippet on your site. Once the campaign is live, you can track its performance from your WisePops dashboard. If you have any questions or require assistance, please don't hesitate to explore our help center, community, or contact our dedicated support team. That's it. You now know how to navigate the WisePops pop-up campaign builder. Happy campaign building!